Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Palatial Home Live blog. Here, we're going to spend some quality time together, learning how to make our homes elegant and beautiful through do-it-yourself projects. These projects are not only things you can take pride in, but they're fulfilling and affordable, too. I'm your host, Stephanie Angerbritsen, and today we'll be taking a look at making a gilded faux French wall panel system. You know, personally, I love the gilded French panel systems in the palaces around the world. I've spent many an hour drooling over them in magazines. And it's something I always wanted to have in my own home, but to my dismay, I couldn't afford them. They were just too expensive. So I began to look for ways that I could reproduce them in an affordable manner. In my search, I found that they were repetitive patterns. This made me think about using ornate picture frames. If I could find enough of the same style and could find them inexpensively enough, I could use them for the panel frames. However, that's not a really feasible plan because it would take too long to find and purchase at the right price, I might add, the perfect frames to accomplish this panel system. Using this method is just not a good idea. However, I wasn't going to toss the baby out with the bathwater. I would save that idea for a smaller area than the one that I had planned to panel at this time. So the first thing I needed to do then was select the wall I wanted to panel, then measure it to see how many panels I needed. That would dictate the number of frames I needed in order to achieve the end result. In my search, I looked at paneling systems uh, that you can purchase at architectural establishments. I also looked at Home Depot, Lowe's, and other firms, all of which were still way too expensive for me. So once again, I was looking for a way where there seemed to be no way. <laughs> In looking uh, at pictures of wall paneling systems, I noticed that the frame actually looked like decorative molding. So I began looking in that direction. I found beautiful moldings that were more affordable and seemed to be the way to go. Then, having chosen the pattern I wanted to use, I needed something to put inside the panel frame as a focal point. Here's where we can get really creative on a shoestring budget. Wallpaper selections, even using gift wrap that's outstanding in pattern and colors, fabrics, tapestries, and if you want the more embossed look, then check out Sirocco pieces that are easily found on eBay, Etsy, and Amazon, all at very reasonable prices. After searching through magazines to find the perfect pattern, I made a feeble sketch of what I wanted my panel to look like. Then I chose Sirocco, and I also chose artificial greenery sprays that I trimmed to lay flat as if espaliered. Note that in the preparation of the greenery, since they are all alike, you may need to remove some of the branches and tiny leaf bunches, as I did, to make sure that they will lie flat when applied. If you don't thin them out, they will clump and pull away from the wall, and you won't achieve the professional look you're after. If you leave too many leaves, it will be too thick looking, and it will then detract from the proper pattern as well. Doing some additional searching produced furniture appliques that I used to fill in around my focal point, that Sirocco piece. Now, I just had to assemble my finds. At this point, we have to gild all the materials. A spray can of metallic gold paint priced at under $5 was perfect. Be sure to spray the greenery on both sides and any other pieces that might not lay totally flat when first applied. That way, you won't have to touch the gilding up with a paintbrush and run the risk of getting the paint on the wall in the process. Make sure that the wall that you're using is the correct background color, white, Navajo white, or cream color for my project or use, and, and you can use any pastel. But now, once prepared, we're ready to begin the application of the paneling system. The molding, which is now gold, is cut into the proper lengths to construct the rectangle frames that will house the pattern within the framework. Do all the cutting ahead of time so that once you begin the construction, you aren't having to stop, remeasure, and cut along the way. Remember to miter cut the corners, you're making a rectangular frame, remember? <laughs> now make sure your measurements uh, are correct and then rule off the top and bottom of where your panel will be once applied to the wall. Make all of those measurements and lines first for all the panels in the group. Now, using liquid nails, apply the frame top and bottom, then add the two end pieces. 
Your wall should now sport a series of gold frames spaced evenly across the expanse. Let them dry. Next, we lay out the pattern for the focal point within the frame. Place the centerpiece in an equal distance from the top and the bottom and each side. Mark the wall where it will be, on top and bottom. Do that in each frame. Using liquid nails, attach the centerpiece to the wall within the frame. Do this in all the frames. Let them dry. Using the furniture appliques and the gold greenery after measurements were made and the walls marked within the panels, making sure they're uniform, apply the appliques and the gold greenery in the pattern you have designed using liquid nails and complete all of the panels and let them dry. My friends, the end result is fabulous. And you have a gilded French wall panel system, the one that you want without any major expense. Now I know that all of you thrifty types will be finding many more uh, ways to achieve the look that you want as your creative, ju creative juices begin to flow. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Cheerio!